Hello friends, today I am going to explain about GST with TDS, how TDS will calculate automatically in case of TDS on rent and in case of TDS on commission and see here, these are the rates, 194 section, TDS on commission, so if you exceed 15,000, it should calculate 5% as, this is the for annum and 194i land and buildings this is 180000 for annum it is uh, monthly 115000 so if exceed 180 for annum it should calculate 10% so we'll see how it will calculate okay so before this go to f11 features start to run taxation here we have to enable details okay gst or gst number company gst number and here enable tax direct resources as and here say yes and your company tar number and deductor type our company uh, com our company is a company or individual huf we have to select here and say here company and branch and set alter details person responsible and a deductor person responsible details here who will deduct tax from company side that person details we have to enter here okay rate of TDS if PAN not available so if vendor don't have PAN then TDS will be 20 percentage okay it will calculate 20 percentage okay and ignore IT exemption okay this I'll explain see here ignore IT exemption limit for TDS deduction so if you say yes here means see it will not consider here even is less than 15,000 also it will calculate TDS so if you put S here, if you put no means, it will calculate if exceed 15,000. So if more than 15,000, TDS commission means it will calculate, otherwise it will not calculate. So like that, while posting interest, I'll explain, okay. See accounting voucher, go to accounting voucher and here select, here accounting invoice, enough for us and because this is not item related it's in case of items any goods related you have to select all type item invoice otherwise you can select accounting invoice here and see here okay and first july date okay here we'll create so and com send creator okay is tds applicable say yes here Directive type East and Co is form or company that we have to select here. So East and Co is partnership form, and uh, here we have to select nature of payments. Okay. See TDS on rent 194 high. I'll select it here. Okay. And PAN number. Okay. Say yes here, and. Uh, Set alter GST details says so here we have to start with state code. Okay, rent and building. So we'll see here how I have created a ledger. See here, rent and building, indirect expenses because we are paying rent. Okay, indirect expenses. Okay, and GST applicable say yes here, and set alter GST cell say yes, and you have to fill here HSN code and purchase taxable, and you just put here percentage. Okay, and this services select services TDS applicable say yes and here so here exemption limit okay see as for our rates one like eighty thousand for annum means monthly how much fifteen thousand because every month we are paying rent right so 
so 1 lakh 80 thousand by 12 months means 15 thousand so if exceed 15 thousand uh, rent amount only it will calculate 10 percent as of TDS okay okay that we have to nature of payment TDS we have selected here enter say here I'll put from I'll put some 16,000 okay. and CGST it will calculate see here how I have created ledger here duty center access under GST central because CGST right central okay. these are the here is TDS applicable now so not required and as GST the same I have created you just check see here state you have to as GST right state we have to select here now okay. TDS on 194 I you just see here how I have created ledger okay TDS and rent and duty and taxes and type of here you will get options right TDS we have to select and nature of payment here you have to select in case of your uh, version so because I am using uh, educational mode version that is the reason I have created here okay so if you want new category also you can create and you can section you can put all the details here okay exemption limit and all so in case of if you are using educational mode version so in case of you are working for some company in that case you will get all the de these details okay see here 1 and 4 i and okay like this i have created see on 16000 calculated 1600 10% okay and gst rate is control n for calculator see 16000 into 6 by 100 6 by 100 960 okay like this it will calculate So in case we'll post other invoice. Okay. So if I'll post six fourteen thousand, it will not calculate. CGST will calculate, and SGST will calculate, but TDS will not calculate. yeah now it will calculate because already we have posted the same uh, vendor right i'll change here party name so then say if i'll change here 194 hi okay now I'll change party name here if you observe here see now it will not calculate because already we have posted 15,000 it so already calculated TDS so that is the reason it is calculating again if less than 15,000 also okay see here it will not calculate TDS okay and will post commission commission related sundry creators is tds applicable says and say it is also form assume it is also form ok select here 194h ok 
Okay. Pawn number. Say yes here. TDS on commission, commission charges. Let's see here how I have created under indirect expenses applicable and here say yes and you have to fill these details and you have to mention right and select services and TDS applicable say yes and select here nature of payment. See based on nature of payment only it will calculate TDS automatically. Okay. For example, 14,000 now it will not calculate because limit is TDS on commission see here it will not calculate because 194H if exceed 15,000 only it should calculate ok but here 14,000 only so that is the reason see if I will change amount here say 16,000 now it will calculate See on 16,000 into 5 800 rupees, it will calculate. So, like this, it will calculate. Okay, okay, and payment will pay. Okay, so here check you can check balance sheet. Okay, current liabilities, duties, and taxes. You can able to see here. TDS and commission charges how much you have to pay and this is how much you have to pay and rent how much you have to pay ok and for payment go to accounting voucher F5 and here start payment here alters so if you want to pay GST or TDS so TDS right and before this you just select the date ok say for example we are paying on 2nd August okay payment TDS see here July and July okay so if you want particular section you can select section wise and nature of payment okay deductive status non company okay resident so in case of cash we just pay this like this okay Now you check here you will not get 194H because we paid it. So and I'll show you TDS on 194H. Okay, you just select the period here. See here deducted here and paid this much closing balance zero. So like this you can pay again if you want to pay accounting voucher and payment and start payment and TDS okay for that period say 194i 94i non company if deduct is company you can select company resident or non resident you can select cash so like this okay so now 194i also balance sheet it will not see here only 194j is there ok we paid 194 ITDS also ok like that we can create ledgers here creation of ledgers is very important we have to select nature of payment so accordingly it will calculate ok and I hope this information will help you and uh, thanks for watching my videos thank you